cannot always be night. Sir, fix that do work. Music, an incredible art form that can take many shapes and forms that almost everyone learns to fall in love with. I've loved music for as long as I can remember. It has greatly impacted how I view the world, and I've found many songs that parallel my life perfectly. A happy song makes the clouds seem brighter. An aggressive track can make you feel confident. A sad or ambient song can lead to contemplating your life. Music affects our lives in many ways, and usually it's positive. But recently, I've been noticing that music is almost a drug. Rather than experiencing something sad or happy, we use music to amplify these emotions, which are unnatural and artificial. Basically, we have dopamine shooting in our ears all day, and it's distracting us from what's most important. You might not want to hear this, but blasting E or Playboy Cardi everywhere you go doesn't make you cool. It makes you feel cool. It's easy to imagine ourselves being the best versions of ourselves while listening to music like this. We think about being rich, successful, or achieving a certain physique, but this person is merely an apparition. This pretending causes us to feel like we've made progress in our lives because we've convinced ourselves that progress has been made. We see an end goal, but not the path to reach it. The more aggressive the music is, the more invincible we feel. But the second the music turns off, the confidence dissipates and we become our normal selves again. This is so destructive because we are not truly ourselves when we are listening to music. An alter ego is created for the sole purpose of fantasizing about a life that won't exist because you aren't taking action. You're simply listening to a song to pass the time. No matter what type of music we listen to, connection to everything around us is lost. With headphones or airpods in, ignoring the world around us is inevitable because the music seems more interesting. What I did to fix this a few years ago was find different types of music to listen to. Rather than just listening to rap, I found multiple new genres I'd never tried before, such as synthwave, rock, and indie. This worked for me because it provided the balance I needed to start finding connection again. One of the best types of music for grounding your mind is ambient music. It's quiet, not distracting, can be very nostalgic, and it trains your mind not to get bored as easily. Have you ever tried talking to someone who has loud music playing? You have to yell at them or shake their arm to get their attention. Hey, hey, guess what? Hey, I have something to show you, guess what? But they don't look up. Even though I get annoyed by it, I'm a culprit of this as well. When someone talks to me when I'm listening to music, I have to say, what? like four times before I can understand what they're saying. But we still see noise cancellation in earbuds as the pinnacle of human creation because it's what the ads are telling us what we want. We might as well be asleep. The goal of this technology is clear. Get us focused on our phones rather than creating connections with the world and people around us. If our generation keeps living like this, we'll all wake up one day with max level hearing aids, no friends, wondering where all the time went because we wasted all of our time listening to the newest TikTok edit sounds. Once every few days, I've been shutting off my music and going about my day in silence. It's a great time to think and not be distracted. Many things become more apparent. The birds chirping, sirens in the distance, dogs barking, water running, and other sounds of nature. When we tune these things out with music, we let the music control our emotions rather than the things that should make us enjoy life. We don't realize how much music can control our minds. Take a step back and come back to the real world. I know how great music can make you feel, but like anything else in life, having too much of one thing is never good. It's a lot easier than you think to leave your headphones behind, even just for a few hours, and live life naturally. The world is much more peaceful when you don't have music flowing into your ears at all times. I'm living a dream. Oh, yeah.